So I got just a few more things. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah Val. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm really excited to do another TJ Maxx haul. I'm excited to share. So I went back to TJ Maxx yesterday because I was really wanting to search for some things that I have really been needing lately that I've just been kind of slacking on and purchasing other things instead of like clothes. Yeah, I'll ever do that. Yeah, guilty. So I really wanted to go back to TJ Maxx and take my time and actually look through things, try to find the right sizes for myself. And that is what I did. And I got super lucky and I found a couple things that I have been wanting for a while. And especially now that it's winter and freezing, it was a necessity. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I got. I'm going to show you guys the non-clothing items first, just because I'm going to end up trying on all the clothes and everything to show you guys what they look like on me and obviously to make sure that it fits. So the first item that I was very excited to find was an eyeliner pack that I actually recently saw on Ulta's website for the full price and it might have been on sale recently but last I saw it it was $30 for this eyeliner pack and it is the NYX Professional Diamonds and Ice please. This is a five liner set and it comes with white, blue, silver, purple, and black. I also got this for $6.99, so definitely an improvement from $30. I was so happy to see this at TJ Maxx so I didn't have to pay the full price. Like, thank you. So this is what they look like. I am going to do a swatching for you guys so you can see how they look. But they feel like super creamy, so I'm excited about that. I have been wanting a couple new eyeliners recently for my lower lash line. I don't typically go for the cream liners on my top lid just because I can't usually get like a super sharp line with it like I like. But I do use the NYX Epic Ink Liner for my normal eyeliner. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner. So a little different, but I'm excited to have a couple new colors and yeah. From left to right, we have pure white, blue trip, silver lining, magenta shock, and pitch black. So pretty, so cute, and I'm so excited to try these on. That is my first item. The second item that I picked up is a Makeup Revolution Ultra Cool Glow Highlighter Palette. This really caught my eye because it had different kind of highlighter shades like this mint and like the purpley iridescent shades I've always, always loved. I, on a normal basis, typically go for something that's kind of on the more silvery white side, but this was only $5 and to get to experiment with really pretty shades like this, not a bad price at all. So this is what it looks like and I will do a full swatch so you guys can see these as well. Now these don't have their own shade names or anything, but I'm just going to be swatching from start to finish and this is what it looks like. So definitely not bad on colors at all. I'm curious to see how the green and kind of purpley shades actually look on me. But this is, I think, gonna be a cute little fun addition to my makeup collection just for fun. Cause who doesn't like fun things? So I just noticed there's actually a crack on the packaging, which kind of sucks, but these kinds of products are sold at TJ Maxx, Ross, like those kind of like discounted stores stores they get sent the items that typically there is something wrong with it kind of defective kind of just like not like it could be just like broken packaging or like something that can be seen as like an imperfection and that doesn't mean that it, the product doesn't work well itself or that you know it isn't good it just means that you are paying a lot less for what you would normally would for a small crack like this 
So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. This was only $5, so it is what it is, and I like it, so that's all that should matter. So the third item I was actually really excited to find, it is a wallet, and it is a black, small, kind of like rectangular, square-sized wallet. Now, my mom actually gave me a wallet recently for Christmas, but the clasp is already starting to kind of rip, and I don't want it to fully rip, so I ended up just purchasing another one. This was only $7.99, so not bad at all, but it just seemed like the perfect size. You know, it's got enough like card inserts and it's got a part for money, like the cash and the change as well on the back. Easy access to your ID. That's like everything you could ask for, you know? Now, fun fact, I actually... <laughs> I wear a fanny pack most days when I run my errands and it's a black holographic one. I'll insert a picture of it just so you guys can see how nerdy I am. But I don't have room like in that bag to have like a full like rectangular wallet like most women have. This, you know, as long as it can hold as many cards that I have, there's a part for cash and change. Like that's everything that I need that that should last a while. But the brand is Tahari. I don't think I've ever heard of this, but it feels pretty nice. And the original price would be $40, but like I said, I only got it for eight. So you do the math, but really excited about that. Now the fourth and fifth item kind of go together. I wanted to get a cute little gift for my boss. I just wanted to get her a cute little gift to say thanks for being like an amazing boss throughout a worldwide pandemic. I just wanted to get her a cute little something to show my appreciation for everything that she's done for me personally. So I found the cutest little home decor piece. She loves wine. So I thought that this was gonna be a super cute, not huge piece of like wall art, but like you can just like set this on a counter or like lay it down or something. But it's because it's not good to keep things bottled up. Like 2020. But this was only $4.99, so really not bad. And you know, it's more the thought that counts. But along with this, I went ahead and picked up a pack of cards. <laughs> I actually saw this when I was already in line and I was glad that they had like cute ones like this. It was a 10 pack for only $3.99, but they are blank on the inside and they're kind of just for like everyday like occasions, I guess. I thought it was so cute. I love the world theme of this. I am going to be giving her this tomorrow, so I'm excited. Uh, hopefully she likes it. Now, the rest of what I got are all clothing items, and I honestly love each and every one of these pieces, and this is what I specifically went to the store for and really have been needing lately because, like I said, it's been so cold. So there are four articles of clothing. One is a really nice, thick, kind of oversized turtleneck sweater. And then I ended up getting two long sleeve. They can be undershirts or they can be worn as themselves, but they are also long sleeve turtlenecks. So I'll probably wear them by themselves and under like pullover sweaters like this, just to keep myself extra warm. And then I also got a pair of sweats. So these are the sweats. They are just simple black. And then I love that they have gold zippers and like little gold accents because I love black and gold. <laughs> I love that they are tapered legged and they are very tight fitting, even though they are loose sweat. But I wore these with boots yesterday and they actually looked amazing. And that was like a huge life goal for me was like finding sweats that I could wear boots with because that's my style and I'm not sorry about it. Being comfortable is key and it is number one right now during all of this quarantine stuff. So I'm super excited about these and I love them. So the second clothing item is the oversized turtleneck sweater I was telling you guys about. And this is what it looks like. I love the color. I had a couple of different ones in my cart and I had to narrow it down because I can't just buy everything even though I want to. I can't do that. I loved the kind of like camel color of this. I love the intricate different colored stitching. I love that it's again tapered on the arms so it's tight fitting where my arms are and it won't 
don't fall down on me, but it's loose in all the places that we like to feel loose. I got this in a size medium and it was on sale for $16. So this was the priciest thing that I ended up getting, but I don't have anything like this in my closet. Like I have zero turtleneck sweaters. I don't know why, but I just don't. I was really excited to add this to my clothing collection and closet. Now this style sweater does have slits on the sides where it sits on your hips and I'm not like a huge fan of that but I know if it were stitched it would be more tight fitting on the bottom and I don't like that personally because I like it to fit loosely. I like both styles but for a sweater this comfortable and soft loose is better for sure. <laughs> So I'm really excited about this. This is what it looks like on me and I absolutely love it. I love that the turtleneck part is not too tight. I love the arms are really form fitting and super cozy and warm and yeah. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this sweater you guys. If you couldn't tell. Now this is the last thing that I got. This is a two piece long sleeve turtleneck set and I love that. It came in black and white, and it is also the brand Tahari, same as the wallet, randomly enough. But I love that you can wear these as undershirts or by themselves. They are soft enough. This white one's a little thin, and I I haven't tried it on by itself. It might be a little see-through, so if so, I will probably wear that under a sweater. But I tried this black one on, and I really like how it fits. I like that it's a little loose. I don't want something that's gonna be too tight on me, especially if I'm wearing it underneath something else. But I also also love that the turtleneck part is not too tight on my neck. That's not how they're supposed to be. <laughs> I got this set on sale only for $12, which is amazing. It could have been a lot worse, but it wasn't. Thank you. Great fitting, like I said, we love that. Very happy with all of these purchases. Hey guys, I am just going to interject here for a couple minutes. It has actually been a week since I filmed this video and sorry about the lighting, it's actually nighttime, so if I look terrible, sorry. But it's been a week since I filmed this video and I actually ended up going back to TJ Maxx because I really, really loved the long sleeve turtleneck shirts that I got, so I wanted to go pick up another set of them. So I did that, but I also ended up getting even more stuff? Like it's possible I have a problem. What can I say? Their deals are just great. So anyway, I wanted to just pop in here really quick before I end the video to just show you guys the last couple things that I picked up. Nothing super crazy, but I am actually really excited about a few things that I did get. So I just wanted to show you guys them as well and include them in this haul video since it's also just TJ Maxx stuff. So I am just going to go ahead and show you that now. So this is the second set of long sleeves that I ended up getting. I was able to find the same brand and like the same size, which is awesome because I do really, really like how soft in material this feels. I didn't end up getting the white long sleeve with this one. I do like the white one, but it is see-through on its own. So I'm only gonna be able to wear it with like a t-shirt or something on top of it. This one I figured I could also wear by itself or under a shirt as well. But I, I really am stoked on these long sleeves and this pack was only $10. So again, a really good deal for these shirts. So this is the second thing that I picked up that I am just absolutely in love with. My favorite color is pretty much any shade of purple or blue or the combination of the two and this is just a gorgeous lavender Sherpa wool lined. Like this jacket is extremely good quality. I have always loved Sherpa material. I love that this is on the outside and then the inside is also very thick and soft as well. I don't like the ones that are like just fabric material on the inside and so I'm really happy that I found one that is this good quality but super cute. I got this in a size medium and it was on sale for $16, so not bad at all. I got a pack of underwear, which you don't really need to see much of, so we're just gonna talk about these chipped clips. We always run low on our chip clips because I swear I always buy like 17 bags of chips at once. So I just bought this simple six piece set for $4 and these look like really good quality. So yeah, 
And then there's this little thing. <laughs> so I have seen this every time I've gone to TJ Maxx the last maybe seven times and every single time I have always wanted to buy it and I just never have because it was a little pricey. But if I'm being honest, I have been wanting to purchase this gel mask and the full size version of it is over $50. So I thought this was a really good deal because I am getting three products in this little set and it was $30. Definitely not a terrible price for a really high-end brand. More than I was wanting to spend, but I feel like when you see an opportunity this good, you really can't pass it up because you don't know. In my case, it, I was lucky to have still been able to, to get this after seeing it so many different times, but I'm so excited for this. This has inside the cucumber gel mask, which is the one I'm most excited for. It's a detox hydrator, refreshing, cooling, moisturizing gel, helps soothe the look of dry skin. And then it also comes with a travel size Firm X peeling gel exfoliant. So I am excited about that. And also the full size version of their Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. So I'm really excited about this. This little set seems like it'll be really good for dry skin, which is what I have. So I'm excited to test this out. This is just another little face mask that I was able to find from First Aid Beauty. This is their instant oatmeal mask. I've heard really good things about this. I've never tried it before though, so I'm really excited to. This was $10, fragrance-free, allergy tested. Sounds like all good things to me. <laughs> I also got a really cute pair of earrings. These are just little hoop earrings, but I love them. They are the brand Tabitha Webb. I am wearing them in this video in case you were wondering, but I figured I'd show you guys a closer look. And as a random addition, I got these at Target and I just thought I would show you because they are so cute. And that is officially everything that I got from TJ Maxx. Let's get back to the original video and finish this baby up. Anyway, I'm super happy with everything that I purchased. Everything was so affordable. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I appreciate you all tuning in and watching. If you have a local TJ Maxx by you and you found any of these items yourself, let me know and let me know what your thoughts are on them in the comments. But if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and join the family. I post twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday mornings and I make a lot of fun content like this. I'm gonna go eat because it's been a while and I'm craving nacho fries again. Again. Good talking to you guys as always but I will see you in my next video. Have a good rest of your day and have some nacho fries for me. Bye!